this is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I am here today to do a new unboxing. I bought this painting a couple of weeks ago now when it came out at Diamond Art Club. It's called Star Spray and it's by Yume Art. Um, and it was one of those ones where they did the preview and I just looked at it and thought, I need that to be mine. Um, so yeah, this painting is a limited edition. It came out, as I say, about a week and a half ago and it is still in stock, which is really good. But if you are interested in this painting as I go through this unboxing, do go check it out quickly because once it sells out, it's gone. Anyway, <laughs> so this is a square painting and it's 50.8 by 101.6 centimetres. So it's long and thin, which I don't mind too much. That should be fairly easy to work with on my easel. Um, so yeah, let's get stuck in. <laughs> It took probably about eight days to get to me here in the UK, which isn't too bad at all. Oh. <laughs> get all the bits out. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out where to put myself because I've got a new camera set up today and I'm not sure I've got it set up how it's going to work best for me, so bear with me. Right, as ever, I like to put the small sticker that comes in Diamond Art Club pieces on the side of my box. And that's just because that's how I store them in my cupboard. They go in sideways and that helps me to see what I'm looking for. Let's take a look at the toolkit. I'll zoom you in a little bit for this. Okay, what have we got? So, Diamond Art Club toolkits, um, most kits that you buy now, they're going to look like this. You may still get an older kit that's been in stock for a long time and is slightly different. Mostly they're going to be like this now. Um, and it's all pretty much the same apart from the tweezers. So tweezers you're only going to get if you buy a square kit. So what we get is, of course, a pen and applicator. The colour will vary, um, so if you buy a different painting or indeed the same painting, you may get a different colour, but they always coordinate, which I think is a nice touch. We get a tray and stopper. That goes in there just so when you're shaking drills around in your tray, they're a little less likely to hop out. We get a roll of baggies, useful for kitting up if that's the way you like to do it, or when kitting down, which is how I use them. <laughs> Tweezers, which are branded. These are very sharp, <laughs> so keep the little cover on them. We get a little pot with two plates of heart-shaped wax. Oh, which <laughs> I'm struggling to put away. I've got my wrist support on today because my wrist's been bothering me. <laughs> it just <laughs> I lose a little bit of dexterity in my hand when I'm wearing it. We get some washi tape, very nice. Let's try and get that to actually focus. <laughs> Very pretty pattern there. Cute little cover minder, little teddy bear. Um, if you're not sure what a, a cover minder is, it's got a little magnet on the back. Um, and you can pop that behind your painting, pull back your plastic cover um, so as to put your... Um, to, to get your diamond painting area clear, pop this on top of the plastic cover, this on the back of the painting, they connect, and that will help to hold the plastic cover out of the way for you. Apologies if you didn't follow that rather garbled uh, explanation. And lastly, we have two multi-placers. Four-placer and a seven-placer, the nice thin ones which are very good and easy to use. So let me put all of that away. Okay, so let's take a look at our painting. Where's the end? <laughs> I just thought this painting was absolutely gorgeous when I saw it. I love the colours, I love the, the simplicity of the design in many ways. Anyway, I don't know why I'm babbling on now, let's take a look at it. And then you will see more what I mean. So, 
we have in here a thank you leaflet. Uh, Diamond Art Club always includes one of these in their paintings and it's really useful particularly if you're a first time buyer but do check it out regardless. It's got various things like uh, tips and tricks, a what's included list, links to their social media groups and discount codes. There's always, always, always discount codes available when purchasing from Diamond Art Club. So don't pay full price because you can always get at least 10 to 15% off and often more. Right, let's take a look at the bigger sticker with a clearer picture of the artwork. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Um, so yeah, I was really drawn to the rendering, which we'll take a look at the bit in a bit because all of this sky is just going to be stunning. It's got a little bit, bit less variety in colour than I typically go for. Um, it's just a personal preference thing that I like to have a lot of variety and I get a little bored of why. So it may be the kind of painting that I work on for a bit, then put away and work on something else and then get it out again. Um, just if I get a little bored of working on the same colours. But maybe I won't because it's so beautiful. We have two ABs, Aurora Borealis drills, which have an extra special coating on them. Um, 131 and 141. They have DMC codes under 150, so that's how I can tell that. And we have a special drill. Z at the start of the number denotes that it's going to be a fairy dust drill, which is a special kind of drill that Diamond Arc had rolled out fairly recently. Um, sort of similar to Aurora Borealis drills in a way, but they have a glitter effect on the top. We will take a look at that in a minute. So, what a lovely pack of drills. I always like admiring the drills, I don't know why. <laughs> so we've got lots of these sort of dark green and teal type colors. Um, but actually the main thing that jumps out to me is these peach type colors. They're really pretty. And over here, I can see two full fat bags of 141AB, the white AB that's very common in Diamond Art Club paintings. And you can probably just about see through there that special coating catching the light. So if you haven't worked with AB drills before, hopefully that gives you an idea of how these are gonna set off beautiful accents in the painting. Just like really draw your eye to certain areas. Oh, we've got an escapey drill there. <laughs> Hope that doesn't mean we've got a burst bag in here. Um, oh, there's actually three bags of 141 and one of those has exploded a bit, <laughs> but yeah. Three bags of an AB. I don't think I've ever had a painting with that many of a particular AB. Let's have a look and see if we can find our other special drills. I'm not going to get these out, particularly given that we seem to have a little bit of an explosion. Hopefully I can find what I'm looking for. Right, so here is our other AB, a lovely orangey colour, very pretty. And where is that fairy dust drill hiding? Right, it's a few minutes later because I, I looked and looked and looked and looked for that fairy dust drill and I could not see it anywhere. So I ended up getting all of the drills out to check through because I thought maybe it had been missed. Um, you know, that would be fine, mistakes happen. It's never happened to me before with Diamond Art Club, um, but I would have just emailed customer service and it would have been fine. It actually was in there. It's just, it was really subtle, so I couldn't see it. But yeah, I've checked off all my colors and I have them all. So now I'll show you the colours in a bit more depth as I've got them out of the bag. I, uh, I found the source of the exploded, um, the, the white 141 drills. There was a little tiny hole in one of the bags, so a few of them have leaked out. So I've sellotaped that up and to be honest it's fine, I've got loads of those in spare drills <laughs> anyway. But yeah, here, if it focuses, is our fairy dust drill. So this is why I couldn't spot it because it's very, very subtle. Can you see that? 
I don't even know after all that if it's particularly visible. If I got them out and put them in a tray, I'm sure it would be, but I don't really want to open the bags. So hopefully you can just about see that. Anyway, there's two bags of that. And we'll just have a quick run through some of the other colours. Only this much 310. It's a colour that some people don't particularly enjoy working with. So, you know, worth noting, there's barely any of it in here. These are the smaller bags. Because uh, Diamond Art Club packages their drills by um, size of drill bag. So, yeah, just a little one. A little bit of these colours. And then this strip here, we have nice blues and yellows. I love looking at the colours. A little bit of static in there. Not too bad though. Nothing that we can't sort when I come to kit it up. There's that orange EAB in a bit more detail. quite dark colours in here and lots of these sort of greyish bluey teal colours which I personally really really like. I think the colour palette is definitely one of the things that drew me to this. So here's one of our strips of quite big bags of drills. So there's quite a lot of these ones in the painting so we've got lots of these peach colours and you can see in the sky there's going to be all these peachy golden colours in the the clouds so yeah <laughs> that's where those are going to be I imagine look at that nice dark teal colour beautiful and quite a lot of some of these colours there's I haven't actually said yet there's only 54 colours I say only I mean only 54 is quite a lot of colours but you've got to bear in mind it's a decent size painting and recently Diamond Art Club has been putting out paintings with a lot of colours um, up into the 70s of colours so yeah this one will be a bit of a change probably a bit more colour blocking I would imagine I'll take a look at that when I look at the uh, canvas in closer detail in a little bit so there's those pale blue and here's the biggest drill bag so three bags as I said of 141 this one's got a little bit of sellotape at the end now <laughs> three bags of this beautiful dark teal big fat bags of peach and dark blues more teals and blues. There's so many shades of teal. That's a bit more of a green colour and another blue at the end. So that's what we're going to be working with. <laughs> I hadn't intended to get the drills out of the bag, but hey, we've looked at it in a bit more detail now. So let me put those to the side. So let's take a look at the canvas. So the first thing I'm going to do is roll it back on itself. Diamond Art Club makes their canvases with poured glue, uh, which you can tell because it has this clear plastic cover. And what that means is that the glue's just, it's a lot more, what's the word I'm looking for? You don't have to be as careful with it. So you can do things like roll the canvas back on itself ooh, to help it flatten out, which you would not want to do with a double-sided adhesive canvas. To be honest, most decent quality companies are using poured glue now because it, it does tend to be what people prefer because it's easier to work with you don't have to be as careful but yeah that should get that flattened out nice and quickly okay now obviously I'm not going to be able to look at all of this in one go um, but here's the bottom section so got these lovely flowers and the wolf I love this section I just think these beautiful flowers like large daisies are just so pretty and then we've got all the mountain section lots of color blocking I'm seeing in here I see this this section down here is going to be a little bit more confetti but yeah lots of blocks of color so I think this will go quite quickly and if I just 
roll that up a bit so we can look at the higher up section. I love the way the tips of the mountains kind of merge in colour into the, the cloud and the sky. I keep forgetting what this one's called. I, I, I've looked it up so many times. It's called Star Spray. <laughs> Uh, and that makes sense because it sort of gives some, um, it makes you think of the spray on a wave, but it's clouds and stars in the sky. Does that make any kind of sense? Anyway, maybe I'll actually remember the name now I've, uh, I've noted that. But yeah. So sections where, sorry, I've not rolled this up very neatly. It's kind of going off erratically at the side. Um, sections like this, there's going to be quite a lot of dotting of that spray but even so you can see lots and lots of color blocking so this is a good one to get if you don't like confetti it's in there but not too much of it mostly this is going to be a kit you can whiz through with your multi-placer i think i'm almost there let's just look up at the top here we are oh it's so so pretty I can't wait for this one. And I, the thing is, like I say, I'll probably get a little bit bored because I'll be working on the same colours over and over. But they are colours that I really, really enjoy. So that will help a lot. I'm really glad I got this one. Okay, let me pan over this a bit more closely so that you can see it in detail. And then we will pick out where those ABs and fairy dust drills go. That gave you a bit of a, a bit of a glance at it. It was tricky, to be honest, <laughs> to do the pan over it that I normally would do because it's just so long. But it is very, very beautiful. So we've got two ABs and a fairy dust drill to pick out. So just looking on the key here, we have symbol number one for the orange AB and this white dot for the white AB. And looking down at the bottom section where we have these flowers, you can see quite a lot of the orange AB in those, in the centre of the flowers, which makes sense. And also quite a lot of white dots there, starting this kind of trail um, heading into the wolf, who is also accented like that. Um, and X down here is the symbol for our fairy dust drill. And I see a few of those scattered down here as well. But I think that's us done with the orange AB. But if we pull up higher, once we get into the peaks of the mountains and this wonderful cloud of star spray up here, you see tons and tons and tons of white ABs coming into it. Hence why we've got three big fat, fat, big fat bags of them. <laughs> and particularly over to this side, you start to see those X's coming in all along the outline of this and then heading further up here as well. So this whole sky section is going to be glowing. It's just going to be peppered with a combination of ABs and uh, ABs and fairy dust drills. It's going to be stunning. Really looking forward to this one. Okay. So 
I think that's about all I have to say about this one today. Um, as I say, it is limited edition, which means when it sells out, it will be gone. So do go check it out if you think this is something that might interest you. Um, you may is a very popular artist at Diamond Dark Club, and I'm, I'm surprised, to be honest, that it hasn't sold out yet. I think it's probably a sign of Diamond Dark Club just getting better all the time, at anticipating how popular a painting's going to be and maybe knowing that this one was going to be limited edition and getting in tons of it. But it will sell out at some point. So yeah, check it out soon if you want it. Okay, that's it from me today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.